Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on differences between LCBB, FIFOBB and LIFOBB. In branch and bound in design and analysis of algorithms. Okay, so there are three types of uh, branch and bound techniques are there. First one is least cost branch and bound. Second one is last in first out branch and bound. Third one is first in first out branch and bound. So these are the three available branch and bound techniques to solve a given problem. Okay, now in this video, so what are the differences between these three bounding techniques are discussed. Okay, so now first one is LCBB, second one is LIFOBB, third one is FIFOBB. First point, LCBB stands for least cost branch and bound. Next, first point in LIFOBB, LIFOBB stands for last in first out branch and bound. Next one, first point in FIFOBB, FIFOBB stands for first in first out branch and bound. Okay, now go for second point. So, there are uh, three types of nodes are available in uh, state space tree. First one is live node and second one is e node, third one is dead node. So live node means a node which is created just. So that node is called as live node but its children are not generated. So that type of node is called as live node. Second one is e node. E node is nothing but e node is a live node and its children are also generated. So that node is called as E node. Third one is a dead node, a node which is already created and its children are also generated, but there is no use of that node. So that node is killed. So that type of node is called as dead node. Okay, now go for second point in LCBB. The children of E node are inserted in a priority queue. Suppose the children are generated for the E node. Okay. So whatever the children that are generated for that E node in least cost branch and bound that are inserted in a priority queue. Okay. Next. Second point in LIFO. The children of E node are inserted in a stack. Okay, here in this case, the children of E node are inserted in a queue. Okay, next, third point in a least cost branch and bound. The data structure that is used for implementing least cost branch and bound is a priority queue. Here, the data structure that implements LIFO branch and bound is a stack. Here, the data structure that implements FIFO branch and bound is a queue. Okay, next, fourth point. The children of an E node are explored in this way. Suppose we are taking a node A. We are taking a node A. So this node A is called as a E node because a node that is created and its children are also generated. So because of that reason, node A is called as E node. Okay, so node A is called as E node and its children are B, C, D. Okay, how LC branch and bound technique is applied? So branching means, so node A is divided into three branches, that is node B, node C, node D. That is nothing but branch. Next, what is bound? Before going to the bound, so cost of node A is, for example, 5. Cost of node A is 5. And uh, the edge cost, the edge cost means, so cost or cost from A to B. So that is 2. Next, cost from A to C is 3. 
passed from A to D is also uh, 4. Okay. Now, cost of B is nothing but cost of A plus cost of A to B. That is equal to 2. 5 plus 2. That is equal to 7. Next, cost of C is cost of node A plus cost from A to C. So, that is equal to 5 plus 3. That is 8. Next, cost of D is cost of node A is 5 plus cost from A to D is 4. 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. Okay. So, among them, which children is uh, explored? Among the three nodes, which children is explored? Which node has the least cost? That node is explored. Among B, C, D, B cost is 7, C cost is 8, D cost is 9. So, C, B cost is minimum so that this node is explored. Node B is explored. Okay. So, this is the same point here uh, explained. The child nodes of an E node, that is nothing but A and its children are B, C, D, are explored in this way. The node which has least cost function. Among the three children, which node has the least cost function? Node B. That node is explored and the remaining nodes are killed. And node C is killed and node D is killed. Only node B is explored. Okay, this is the point I am writing at point 4. Okay, next. Here, the child nodes are explored in last in first out manner. Okay, the child nodes are explored in last in first out manner. The node which is inserted last in the stack, that node is explored first. Okay, so for example, in this example, we have to take a stack. So this is a stack. First, in the stack, root node is inserted. That is node A is inserted. Okay, now what are the children of node A? B, C, D. Okay, node A is popped out and inserting its children B, C and D. B, C, D. Okay, so among the three nodes, which node is inserted last? Which node is inserted last? On the top of the stack, uh, node D is there. Node D, D is inserted last. Okay, so that node is explored first. The node which is inserted last in the stack, that node is explored first. So on the top of the stack, which element is there? D. The node D is inserted last. That node is explored first. So, node D is explored first. Node D is explored first. Okay, next one. So, go for this one. So, in this one, so here the elements are inserted in a cube. Okay. So, first node A is inserted into the cube. Okay. Next, what are its adjacents? B, C, D. So, node A is deleted from the cube after inserting its adjacent. After inserting it, its adjacent. So, this is Q. Okay. So, which node is explored first? The node which is inserted first into the queue, that node is explored first. Among the three, which node is inserted first? Node B is inserted first, so that uh, B is explored. B is explored. Okay. The child nodes are explored in first in, first out manner. The node which is inserted first into the queue, that node is explored first. Here among the B, C, D, which node is inserted first? That is node B is inserted first. So that node B is explored first. Okay. After that, the remaining nodes. Okay. So here in this case, after that, node C is explored. After that, node D is explored. Okay. Here in this case, on the top of the stack, node D is there. 
node D is explored first, after that node C, after that node D. Okay, next, go for fifth point. Here, this uh, search is called as least cost search. We have to follow the least cost search for exploring the nodes in the state space tree. Next, here, D search is used to explore the nodes in the state space tree. Okay, here BFS, breakfast search technique is used to explore the nodes in the state space tree. Okay, here BFS is used, here D search or DFS is used, here LC search is used. LC search means least cost search. Okay, we have to explore the nodes in the state space tree by using least cost search. We are always searching for the node that has the least cost. Okay. Next one. What are the examples for least cost branch and bound? So that is traveling salesperson problem. And the next one is zero by one knapsack problem. Next, what are the examples for LIFO branch and bound? So zero by one knapsack problem and job sequencing with the deadlines problem. Next, what are the examples for FIFO branch and bound, zero by one knapsack problem, job sequencing with deadlines problem. So, so in least cost branch and bound, there is no requirement of global upper bound. Whereas in the case of last in first out branch and bound, so global upper bound is set. So node one's node one's upper bound value can be set as global upper bound value. So node one's U cap value is denoted by U cap one. Whatever the value we are getting at node one, that upper bound value can be set as global upper bound. So U cap is nothing but global upper bound. U cap of X is nothing but upper bound of a node X. Okay, so we can take the first node. So that is node 1. For that node 1, we have to calculate the upper bound. That is U cap of 1. Now, whatever the value we are getting at node 1, that upper bound value is U cap of 1. U cap of 1 can be set as global upper bound. That is U cap. Same in FIFO branch and bound also node one's upper bound value can be set as global upper bound that is U cap. Global upper bound that is U cap. Next one. How we are killing a node in least cost branch and bound? Okay. The node which has the least cost that is a C cap of X that node will be explored, the remaining nodes are killed by using bounding functions. Okay, so in the previous example, so that is a, a B, C, D, so among them, so node B, node C, node D, so node B has the least cost, now this node becomes the E node and the remaining two nodes are killed. In the LC branch and bound. Whereas in the case of uh, last in first out branch and bound, so consider a node X, its lower bound value is denoted by C cap F X. Compare C cap of X with the global upper bound. So C cap of X means lower bound of a node X is uh, compared with the uh, global upper bound U cap. If C lower bound of a node X is greater than the global upper bound. If this condition is true, node X is killed. If this condition is false, node X will be extended. Okay. Next, here also how to killing or extending of a node. Consider a node X, its lower bound value is denoted by C cap of X. Compare C cap of X with the global upper bound uh, U cap. So if this condition is true, we have to kill node X. Otherwise, 
we have to extend the node x. So whatever this condition we are followed, the same condition is also followed. Okay, next one. In least cost branch and bound, there is no requirement of updation of global upper bound. Okay, because there is no setting of global upper bound in least cost branch and bound. Whereas in the case of uh, last in first out branch and bound, where the global upper bound is updated. So global upper bound is updated only when the upper bound of a node x, that is u cap of x, is less than the global upper bound u cap. So u cap of x less than u cap. What is the meaning of this one? Suppose we are taking a node x. For that node, we have to calculate the upper bound. So that is u cap of x. u cap of x is less than the global upper bound u cap. Then the update the global upper bound u cap. Otherwise, there is no updation of global upper bound u cap. Okay. Here also for a node x, if u cap of x, upper bound of a node x is compared with the global upper bound. So if upper bound of a node x is less than the global upper bound, then update u cap value. Otherwise, there is no updation of u cap value. Okay. So these are the main differences between a, a LIFO branch and bound, FIFO branch and bound and least cost branch and bound. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel name. Dibbela Srinivasarao. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. Thank you.